Hey, what is up, guys? As you can see, I got an unboxing for you today, and that is of the uh, Walmart Walmart exclusive uh, Warcraft. Um, this is the Steel Book. Um, I rarely ever go to Walmart, and I usually only go there because of things like exclusives for Steel Books and whatnot. Because um, I, I just don't I don't care for Walmart that much. I think the environment is shitty. But that's just me. Whatever. I'm not just my, my, my location sucks. Anyway. Uh, we got Warcraft here. I haven't seen the movie. I've heard very mixed things about it. Um, initially, I heard that it was really good from some friends, and then obviously the media did not like it, and the critics hated it, I think. Um, universally disliked, I think, actually. Um, in fact, I think it only made like 50 million bucks here in the States, which of course is a lot of money, but this, it cost like 150 million, so um, losing money in the States. But it made all of its money back and then some in uh, in European and international areas, especially China, I think specifically China. It made like a hundred million bucks in China alone or more. So it made its money back and then some. But uh, it did not do so well here in the States. But um doesn't matter. I have the, uh, I see only Walmart seal book here. And we're going to open it up. Um, <coughs> excuse me. As you can see here, it's got a uh, image from... Um, Warcraft, I guess. I don't, I, honestly, I'll be honest, I don't know shit about Warcraft. I, I have had friends who liked it, played it for years. Um, I think the game is technically about 15, 16 years old now. The well, world of Warcraft, wow. I played Warcraft 3 back in 2000, I think, or 1999, maybe. And I thought it was kind of fun. But uh, I don't know mythology, I don't know anything else about it. I just thought the movie looked interesting, and I wanted to watch it. And I certainly wanted the Steelbook. I don't know if this image means something or not, I bet, I'm assuming it does. And also, if you'll notice, this has actually backwards. Sort of like the uh, Ant-Man, uh, Best Buy's version of Ant-Man Steelbook was kind of in there backwards for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but anyway. I checked in the store, I didn't look if there were any dents on this, but um, obviously we'll find out. And it is a matte finish. Wasn't sure in the store, I assumed it was. A lot of them are matte recently. Okay, how's that look? I don't see any visible dents. So far, so good. This is the actual cover. I assume that's the um, uh, humans, and that's the um, orcs. But I don't know. There's only one piece of glue here on the, on the front, or the back, I guess. Okay, so no dents there. It's just work wrapped, okay. <clears throat> now, hold on. There's the digital curl, I'll get that out of there. There are the discs. And it's universal, so it's got plain stupid discs. Um, there's the Blu-ray, and the DVD's kind of coming out there. Um, which is cool. It's cool to see that, um, Universal is still getting a DVD, uh, DVDs with their Blu-ray releases recently. Um, some of them don't. Anyway, interior art. Um, looks like a giant battle scene. Um, I'm guessing red means orcs and stuff, and blue means... Or, or art means nothing at all. It's just a color differentiation. differentiation. So, discs look... Alright, this one was probably a little scratched, but that's okay. I don't really watch the DVDs anymore. Although it is, like I said, nice to have them. And here's the ooh, disc for Universal. I wish there was more artwork on this. It'd be cool if there was like orcs or something on there. And one of these has... <coughs> Actually, what is this? I didn't even read the front here. It says, also includes in-game content from Blizzard Entertainment. Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, and World of Warcraft, so. Uh, the front has the uh, digital copy code here, but... I don't need these codes, so. You can zoom in here. World of Warcraft, you can use that if you want. Pause the video. Here's the storm, there's the code, pause it, and Hearthstone. 
go ahead and pause that if you want. Because I don't need them. And there's a code for a free movie, apparently, too. I'll check that one out to myself, though, so. Sorry. Okay. I guess that's it. Um, pretty cool. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll put... I always keep... If I can keep these the backings, I will. Some people put them back in like this. I guess I could do that since I don't have, it doesn't have a cover. I don't like that it doesn't have a... Uh, the name on there, but so why does that look not not look good or something? Why would they do that instead of this? Does that mean something else? I I don't know, but I will put this in here. I always do, like I said, if I'm able to, just on the side. And then I will get my protectors. Like I said, I get them on eBay. Just Type in steel book protectors, and it's the, usually the first thing that comes up. It's a picture of um, uh, Pacific Rim. All right. There you go. Oh, not almost. Got it. All right. My work of steel book is protected. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later, I guess. Thanks. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Pretty cool. Gotta watch this at some point. I still think this looks fine. I guess that's more Warcrafty. That's a line. I don't know. Alright. See you guys.